Continue straight, then you will arrive at your destination. This behind me is the QE2, the Queen Elizabeth II luxury cruise liner that sailed the seas for almost 40 years. But now it's here, permanently. It's docked here in Dubai and has been turned into a hotel that I'm about to check into right now. Hi brother, Welcome. I'm checking in today. How are you? Okay, yes. great, thank you. I'm checking in today. Yeah, welcome on board. Just okay. one moment, please. Welcome on board. Good. <laughs> I like it. Imran, we'll see you off to the room. Okay. Have a lovely stay. Fantastic. Thank you. So Thank, you. Thank you. Okay. I've just been told these books here, they're apparently the original books that were on the ship from back in the day. Hi, sir. Okay, great. I'm great. How are you? Very well. Thank you. Fantastic. Okay. About to board the QE2. It's uh, 8011, I believe. This side, there. okay. Your room is SI floor. SI floor, yeah. Same floor have restaurant. I will show the way. Ah, okay, yeah. okay. Going up, the front door is closing. The front door is opening. This is your. This room. my room, okay. And you see that signboard? Yeah. Opposite side is have staircase. That uh -huh. way is going for restaurant. Home sweet home on the QE2. This is the captain's room, I believe they call it. It's a captain's room with balcony. So this is one of the higher categories of rooms. There are rooms available that are half the size of this and have the original portholes on the windows that you've seen outside. Most of the side of the ship was like that. It was all portholes. Let me take this oh, luggage off my back. Hop. Uh, but yeah, I chose to pay twice as much for, for this, which is more like a normal hotel room. So basically that's what they did once they got the QE2 stationed here. They reconditioned it to be hotel standard. And this is hotel standard, isn't it? This is what I would expect out of a four-star hotel room right here. I'll check the balcony at last after we... Well, there's not much to explore, is there? It's just a, a basic kind of setup here. Oh, this is kind of cool. A wee... Super Mario Toadstool desk light, an actual proper working desk. I like that. I like that somewhere to set up my laptop. There's a lot of hotels I've been staying in recently where that's your place to be setting up your laptop and it's no good. Right, bathroom. Let's check it out. In fact, the ceilings are a little bit, you know, uh, low down, but I guess when they're designing a cruise ship, space is at a premium, right? So, I mean, it's not claustrophobic or anything. That's still like seven feet. Uh, plenty of room unless you're an NBA player. Okay, bathroom. Let's check it out. Uh, okay, oh, overhead rain shower. So, yeah, it's a little bit small, the bathroom, but, I mean, they've made good use of the space. And it's nice as well. Everything marble and shiny. So I think this was turned into a hotel in 2018, so everything is still fairly new. As you can see, there's no scratches on the floor. Carpet, no stain or anything like that. Let's check the view from the balcony. In fact, first, where is the minibar? Where is the minibar in this place? Could it be here? What's this? No minibar? I know how to fix this. Your man brings his own minibar, aye, and a British minibar no less, because I think it's only fitting when you stay in the luxury British cruise liner, the QE2, that you bring a British minibar with you. So I've got the 100% Great British prawn cocktail crisps. Muller Corners, used to have them on my packed lunch when I was a wee laddie for going to school. McVeigh's Digestive Biscuits, Cadbury's Chocolate, Cadbury's Hot Cocoa and representing Scotland. I think we can all agree, the best country, the best country in Britain. The Iron Brew, the Orange Nectar, oh lovely. And uh, maybe, I think I'm probably going to be 
the first person ever on the classy QE2 to consume a pot noodle. Do you think any of the toffs that sailed around on this back in the day uh, consumed a pot noodle? No, they were all doing fine dining and stuff, weren't they? So, yeah, I'm going to set a new low standard by consuming a pot noodle on that balcony, which I think we should just go and check out right now. There's a big sofa right in front of it. It's a kind of weird design, I guess. They've not got much space to play around with. Uh, it's kind of weird that it kind of blocks the... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't care. Let's go out and have a wee look. Okay. Oh, this is nice. So, I don't think this is original. I think this is like... This was probably windows back in the day. Or maybe it was a balcony. They're calling it the captain's room. So, who knows? Uh, down there you can see some cruise liners that are actually in use. So, I think they're just... This is actually a port. This is actually, I think, Port Rashid, I think it's called. So this is an actual port and these cruise liners are, or they might not be cruise liners, they're some kind of ships, they look like cruise liners to me. Uh, they're just kind of like stationed there temporarily and having a wee look around. Aye. Okay, there's the beautiful Dubai skyline right there, but I mean all this is kind of like construction, a lot of noise down there. This ugly thing right there. I mean, it's not the best view in the world. The girl did say, uh, if I wanted to pay 50 dirhams per night extra, I could uh, get a sea view room on the other side. But I thought, the sea view room's only just going to be water. What's the point in looking out at that? I want to look out at Dubai skyline. Maybe that'll be nice at night. Maybe all this noise will have stopped by then and stuff. But uh, aye, so. I booked this room at the cheapest day possible. Obviously, like most hotels in Dubai, the rates vary a lot, you know. Hotels here tend to double on the weekends, especially now with the Rona, that everybody's doing staycations and stuff, you know. So, uh, yeah, weekends are super, super expensive. This is a weekday that I've checked in, and I'm paying 120 US dollars per night for this, which is not too bad. I mean, I've been staying in a hotel about the same standard as this on the outskirts of Dubai for $40 a night but for the novelty factor and all that just for a couple of nights look at the humidity look at that that's just from having that open for what one minute or something look at the mirror I it's like it's like 44 degrees outside your man sweating a wee bit but uh yeah I'm gonna take a shower and then I've booked a classy I'm gonna actually have to wear trousers for this I booked a classy English tea lunch in the Queen's Grill. So we'll go do that after I get freshened up a wee bit. Oh. That's me all freshened up, the royal blue t-shirt on, the trousers on. Can't remember the last time I wore trousers. Have you guys actually ever seen me wearing trousers before? Probably not. Oh actually, Kolkata, the Oberoi, the breakfast, remember that? They made me wear trousers for that. But anyway, all dressed nice and classy for high tea at the Queen's Grill. I'll save the I'll save the pot noodle for later. I wonder actually, you think they'll let me take my own drink? You think they'll let me take this? Yeah, probably not. <laughs> okay. Elevator. Let's take the stairs. Ah, work up an appetite. Guess this must be it through here. Looking very fancy, isn't it? Oh, Hi, mate. Hi again. Oh, Hi, good. <laughs> yeah, I, I booked the uh, Queen's Grill for the English tea. Ah, uh -huh, for the afternoon tea. Yes, afternoon okay. tea. Here we go. Here your lovely green tea. Fantastic. I need that <laughs> to refresh me. Today is hot. <laughs> okay, fantastic. Wow. Can't wait to get stuck into this. Hello. Hi. Can you tell me everything we have here? Okay. So here we have the chicken with Palmer mustard. We have the cream cheese with cucumber, with salmon roll, egg mayonnaise, uh -huh. Branson pickle with cherry cheese. Okay, so five little sandwiches. Uh -huh. And these are hot ones, right? Yes, this is chicken wellington. Chicken wellington, oh and nice. We have the uh, mushroom and sundry tomato pie and uh, scotch egg. quail egg. Yeah. Oh, it's a quail scotch egg. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. And these are sweet treats at the top. Ah, okay. Five sweet treats. Rose bagel tart. We have the lemon posset, um, strawberry and blueberry uh, tart. Oh wow! Carrot cake. That looks amazing. Scones. And if that doesn't fill me up, there's scones yeah. as well. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow. 
Okay guys, I guess we go from bottom to top, right? We're gonna start with the cold sandwiches, then the hot ones, and then the sweet treats, five of them, plus the scones, oh, can't wait. Okay, it looks like it just gets better and better if we do it in that direction, right? So the one in the middle is the smoked salmon roulade. Now a roulade is just basically means something that's rolled up. So it's rolled up salmon and a kind of tortilla wrap with some cream cheese and chives. Lovely. I'm a big fan of smoked salmon. We, it's a very popular food in Scotland. Ah, nice, refreshing green tea. He's put some mint in that and he's made it sweet as well. Lovely, nice and refreshing, just what I needed. Now, what I'm paying for this is 195 dirhams, which is like 50 US dollars for this lunch. And it does include the drinks as well. Right, on to the next sandwich. I like this finger food. It's like a, like I'm back in India. No, no knife and fork needed for any of this. Right, uh, this one will be the cucumber sandwich. So, ah, it looks like it's two layers that they've done there and a wee olive, a wee olive on top as well. Oh, look at that. Nice presentation, isn't it? Mmm, guys, it's so light. The, the bread is just so fluffy. It just kind of like melts in your mouth. So, yeah, if all the food is like this, I'm just going to demolish this really quickly. Now this one must be the egg mayonnaise with watercress, a wee bit of watercress on there. Mm. This is nice, all the bread really fluffy and soft, so like I said it just feels really light, like you're eating something really light. And this one must be, I think it's roast chicken. It's a very, very thin filling, isn't it? So with the soft bread and the thin filling, again, just another very, very light, probably like a, I don't know, like a 35 calories or something in this. Mm. And this last one must be the cheddar cheese and Branston pickle. Oh, it's all falling apart. Oh, I've done it. I've made a mess. The food is on the table. <laughs> okay, at least it gives you a closer look. This is the cheddar cheese and Branston pickle. Now, I tried Branston pickle when I was young and I didn't like it. I thought it tasted sour and I've never tried it again since. Uh, I don't even know what it is. I just know it's very popular kind of sauce, jam type thing in Britain. It's some kind of pickled, pickled what? I don't know. Uh, I'll give it a taste then. My first taste as an adult of Branston pickle. Mm. No. Uh -uh. Mm. I don't like it guys, I don't like it, I don't like Branston pickle. Um, yeah, but I'm going to force myself to consume it because I, I want to complete this, I want to complete this set. Okay. Well. That is the first time as an adult trying Branston Pickle and it will certainly be my last as well. Anyway, I'm getting a right old mess. The table's all messy, my hands all messy. It really is like eating Indian food again, isn't it? Uh, even with the pickle as well. <laughs> oh, okay, never again. Right, okay, we've got the hot stuff here. We've got, should I start with the Scotch egg? The Scotsman will go for the Scotch egg that's split into two parts, but it's not uh, a real Scotch egg. It's one with a quail egg instead of a chicken egg. and something inside it as well. Let me consult the menu and find out what it is. Ah, it's a mousse of smoked fish. So it's a smoked fish mousse. Fox mish mousse? <laughs> a folk smoked, <laughs> smoked fish mousse. Okay, let's give it a go. Should this all be one bite? I don't know, let's... Mm. Well, it's not a one biter, that's definitely should be a two biter. And it tastes exactly like a fish cake. That's what it tastes like. I don't even taste the egg, it just feels like a fish cake. And that's basically what a fish cake is. It's kind of this um, mashed up fish with the, the crumble on top. So, aye, it's nice enough. I do like fish cakes. Mm. Which one did you say was your favorite one again? Uh, quiche. The quiche is your yeah, favorite? Scottish Which one? Well. Is this the quiche here? This one's a quiche, is it? Yeah. Ah, okay, yeah. this is quiche. And the scotch egg, I just tried that. It was lovely. It was nice. Ah, really okay, nice. I'm going to try this one next. So you said this because is the... Because we are doing like menu testing uh, from time to time, whenever we change the menu, we have like testing. Ah, okay. Um, we know 
what's what's exactly in the menu. So, ah, okay. Yeah. So Good. With all of it is delicious. For me, I like the Scottish tea. I like the quiche. It's very nice. All of them. Ah, okay. <laughs> Anyone you don't like or? No, no, no. I like. You like? Oh, ah, okay. <laughs> yeah. let, me, let me see what is in this quiche. It's a mini sun-dried tomato and mushroom pie. Ah, okay, so this is like a pastry with mushrooms inside yeah. it. Ah, okay, okay. Let's let's give this a go. I don't know how I eat this, like 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 this, or what? I think I have to break it up. I'm try I'm trying not to use the knife and fork. I think this is the only one I might need the knife and fork for, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna break it up with yeah, my hands. Just eat, yeah, yeah, just like just. That, yeah. That's the best way. Just, <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's for full enjoyment. Yeah. Would you like to have one more green tea, or would you like mm. to mm. try English breakfast tea or coffee? Or Green tea? Green tea is good, yeah. Sure, sure. Thank you. Yeah. All right, the mushroom pie is lovely. It's a little bit difficult to eat with the crispy filo pastry, which is delicious, and I like the texture and stuff. It's just crumbling all over the place, but who cares? I'm not with anyone, as usual, apart from you guys. So, as usual, I don't care about making a mess in front of you guys, do I? Mm. Wow, the sun-dried tomato adds a lot of flavor to it and it's really, the flavors are really well balanced between, you know, the pastry, the egg, the, the mushroom, the sun-dried tomato, it's just delicious. I think it's my favorite one so far of what I've tried. The next one coming up is the chicken wellington. Well, I had the beef wellington at the Gordon Ramsay restaurant and oh, now I've got no chicken. <laughs> now I'm just having Wellington. I'm not having chicken because my bloody chicken is on the floor. Oh my God. Don't bring Dale to the fancy QE2. I'm going to pick that up so the guy doesn't have to. Bloody hell, Dale. What are you doing? Okay. Okay. Oh, stupid. Okay. Let's see how the Wellington, oh my God, the pastry just went in the water. Oh my God, what a disaster. Oh, okay, let's see how the Wellington pastry tastes. It's nice. See this bottom layer here? This is all soft. This is all soft and the top layer is all crispy. So you've got the combination of textures and yeah, it's nice, very savory. Be nice with some chicken. <sighs> okay, dessert time. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Which one shall I go for? In fact, I think I'll start from left to right, like I'm reading English. Remember when I was at the Nobu restaurant and they gave me the sushi platter and a long plate like that? I went from right to left, like reading Arabic since I was in Dubai. Well, we're on the British QE2, right? So I should go from left to right. So, profiterole first. Oh, used to get these for dessert. My mum used to provide these with the dinner on a regular basis. Maybe once every couple of weeks we'd have profiteroles growing up. So very familiar with these. It's nice. Very, very sweet. Very, very sweet chocolate that's on that. Next, what is this? I'm going to have to consult the menu again. It looks like a cherry bakewell or something. What is it? Ah, a bakewell tart. I was right. Your man knows his desserts. Oh, this feels dense. This feels really dense. This cake, uh, bakewell pie, let's go for it. It's cherry, cherry, I don't know if I mentioned that, but it's got a raspberry on the top. The cherry is the, the layer here. This is the layer, the jam. It's definitely not a one biter, is it? Wow, it's lovely, it's lovely, it's really nice, wow. Sometimes cherry it can give like about a sour taste as a dessert or something, but this tastes really, really sweet, almost like strawberry. It's um, it's lovely. Oh, fantastic! Yeah, I dropped my chicken on the floor. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not I'm not going to be able to finish this now. I wanted to complete it, but uh. <laughs> mm. just take your time. Okay, yeah. What are you dropping on the floor? This one? Yeah, the chicken Wellington. I was like showing it to my camera and the middle, it fell out the middle bit. I'll so, change it for you. You'll change it for me? Really? Oh, wow. <laughs> Very good. Okay. I'm going to be able to complete this after all, but I'm on the sweet stuff now. Usually, <laughs> once I've started on the sweet stuff, the savory stuff is less appealing. Okay, this, this, this cherry bake well is lovely. Mmm. 
Mm. Oh, thank you so much, my friend. That's very good of you. Thank you. Okay, guys. Okay. If you need anything, just call me. I'm Ahmed. Thank you, Ahmed. Thank you very much. Lovely. Okay. This time, I'm going to hold it by the, the chicken part to make sure it can't possibly go away. I've got a good grip. I've had my GoPro and roller coasters and everything and never dropped it. So I've got a good grip of this chicken, Wellington. And yeah, I'm probably not going to fully enjoy it because I'm on the sweet stuff now, but here it goes. Mm, it's nice. It's very different to the beef Wellington. Remember the beef Wellington it had uh, basically a fillet of steak in the middle and this is like reformed chicken. It's not like a piece of chicken breast or anything. It's kind of reformed and then set and it's very creamy and very, very light chickeny flavour that goes well with the pastry. Yum yum. Mm. Okay guys, we're back onto the sweet stuff. I'm gonna try this lemon and thyme posset. Now, I didn't know what a posset was, so I Googled it and it said it's an old English drink made from curdled milk and ale from like the 16th century or something. But I did further research and it seems it's now a kind of dessert mousse type thing. So this does look like a mousse. Uh, okay, uh, I don't know, I probably can't eat this with the hands. I guess I'm gonna have to use the cutlery after all. all right, wee spoon, a wee one. It's very wee. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's like a, a very sweet lemony mousse. Tastes like a lemon meringue, except it's mousse, and this on top is a chocolate button. Yummy. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Next up is the carrot cake. A lot of people don't like the idea of a cake made from carrots. Same as cheesecake. People like, why would you have a, a cake made of cheese? But uh, yeah, I like cheesecake and I do like carrot cake as well. For some reason, it just it just works. It just works. Okay, how do I eat this? This has to be a one biter, I guess, unless I want to use the knife and fork, isn't it? It's all beautifully decorated with cream and chocolate and stuff. Okay, I'm going to just try and fit it in the big Scottish mouth. Magnifique, brilliant. And lastly, we have uh, a wee fruit tart. A bit of strawberry and three blueberries on there. A tiny bit of pistachio as well. Fantastic. Is this a one biter? Okay, let's go for it. Challenge. Mm. Magnificent. Cleared it. Cleared the plate or cleared the three plates. Champion. I've got some scones for afters, a wee dessert, a wee dessert for after the after the five desserts. We've got two wee scones for more desserts. Okay, one of them has raisins. My favourite, my favourite type of scone. Oh, they feel thick and dense as well, and served with jam and clotted cream, which is exactly how scones are supposed to be served. Definitely need the cutlery now, because the correct way is to saw it in half. Oh, they are so thick. They're so thick. These aren't they? Very yeah. Nice you it. Oh yeah, no problem. Very nice. Yeah, <laughs> no problem. Challenge complete. Yeah, I don't feel I don't feel full either. Yeah, it was really nice. My favourites would be the favourite one. I can't remember from the sandwiches which one would be my favourite. Probably the smoked salmon, and then I really salmon yeah salmon. I really like the, the the quiche one, the the mushroom pie. The yeah, the same oh, as like your, your favourite one as well. <laughs> yeah. And out the cakes though, the cherry bakewell, the cherry bakewell cake. Yeah, yeah. The they're my favourites. Oh yeah, okay. yum. Okay. Yeah, okay. Very happy that you finished it all. That means you like all of them. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't too much food. That's why I'm gonna. I'm gonna consume these scones as well. <laughs> most people they finish it, right? They finish everything. Yeah, yeah most of the people. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So the Queen's the Grill here is that restaurant. It's one of our best restaurants uh -huh. in Kyoto. We used to have uh, when the ship was sailing. We used to have that uh, restaurant for fine dining. Oh, this was the one for, who paid the, the very high price tickets, right? Yeah, ah, okay. the highest pay, uh, the highest ah, so only the highest paid tickets. Yeah, 
tickets got to eating this one and the rest they had like separate restaurants and then when we uh, when we opened the ship here in, in 2018 uh -huh. we it was still also for fine dining right it was like uh it has like set menu like yeah. 1000 dirham and above and now you have people like me dropping chicken on the floor and everything <laughs> okay you went from yeah, fine dining to having yeah, scotsmen come in and throw the food around <laughs> <laughs> no, we changed it. We changed the standard for it before uh, COVID. We uh, uh, we decided to make it like casual dining, not fine dining. Okay. It's like a stick house, like that. yeah, like that. That was before COVID in three months. Then COVID came, and then we started to change. Uh, yeah. Our plan. Yeah, everyone had to change their plan when COVID came. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was like pandemic time. Mm. And then when we reopened, we closed for some time. Then when we reopened, we decided to have one restaurant for now. Uh, that was the Bethelian restaurant. Mm -hmm. uh, it was open area, but now because the summer it's very hot, as you see. And ah, okay, nobody wants to sit outside at yeah. this time of year. Yeah, so we shifted to be here in the Queen's Grill. Uh -huh. So that is the main restaurant, right? So now. this is the main restaurant. Have your breakfast here, or lunch and dinner, ah, afternoon okay. tea. We have lounge here. Would you like to have a look on it? Yeah, okay. It's a new. Uh, it's a new lounge. Here's the entrance. Here is the rank is for the steam and for the office. So ah, the okay, this is all the patches. Yeah. Ah, okay. Then the top one's the captain, right? The captain, yeah, on the top. And uh -huh. then uh, the assistant, the doctor, and the engineer. Ah, okay. The seaman, I see, which is written here like doctor with the red one. Ah. Chief officer beside him. You try to keep uh, as much of the history here yeah, uh, as yeah. you can, right? Yeah, that is the idea. Yeah, yeah. okay. Oh, so this is the lounge. Here is the lounge, yeah. Oh and wow! This lounge is it's nice. New, actually, it was not here before. Ah okay. But uh, when we did we did some renovation in the Queen's Grill to change it from fine dining yeah. to be like casual dining. So we did new decoration in it, and mm. it was a part from the blend to make a lounge. Mm. So that lounge, it's a new one. Ah okay. So Very nice. They still have, the, have the original. These are the original windows, right? These yeah, these yeah. porthole things. Yeah. Very nice. This is the original window. Yeah. yeah. Here is the view. Ah, okay. Let's have a look. This boat mm -hmm. is a chef boat. Okay. Oh, this belongs to the chef? Yeah. Ah, and okay. Uh, Lona boat is here. Lona boat is one of the most famous uh, yacht in the world. Mm. So the, the sheikh's one is the, the one at the back? The white one. Yeah. Oh, wow, it's yeah. huge. It's a very nice one. So that's yeah. his private boat? Yeah. Wow. Very luxury, yeah. yeah. And right here we used to have here's the MST cruise. Uh -huh. Sailing cruise, all of them, like traveling cruises. Ida and the MST and all of the cruises which is traveling. Mm -hmm. and uh, so the, the, these two big boats here, they are, these two big ships here, they are cruise liners? Cruise liners, yeah. All of this here, cruise liners. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, but they are, they are cruising now or because of Corona they are because not? Because of Covid they stopped for some time, but some, yeah. some of them started to sail again. Oh, already they're, they're starting they're, again, the cruises. Oh, well. So they start, yeah. Yeah, slowly normal. things are getting back to normal, right? Back to normal, yeah. Ah, okay. Good. the lounge here. Yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice area. Mm -hmm. Are you getting very busy times? Any times when this is all full of, of people, like weekends or? Sometimes in the weekend, yeah. Normally in the weekend we're getting busy. You're doing the brunches yeah. here or not? Brunch? No, we used to do brunch in uh -huh. the Lido, but that was before COVID. Ah, okay. Because the brunch we used to have it uh, open buffet. Ah, so yeah. now the open buffet has many uh, rules to follow it. Oh yeah, too it's many rules. Yeah. But we're gonna open it, but not now. Very ah. soon, but not now. So here is the lounge. I will show you the outside area. Ah, okay, good. Oh, my queen. Yeah. Queen Elizabeth. Queen. <laughs> yeah. Our queen. Yes. So here is outdoor area. If someone is staying here you want to come to smoke or something. Ah, I like that. But in the winter you're doing dining in the outdoor area or it's just kind of like a place for people to stand? Uh, it's just a place for people ah, to smoke yeah. or to drink coffee but we are not serving for the meantime we are not serving food. Ah, uh, okay. Normally, I guess they don't prefer to stay outside now because it's uh, oh, yeah. a humidity. Oh, yeah. Oh, so hot. Uh, yeah, oh, you. guys, <laughs> one second and I'm almost dying. Yeah. Ah, okay, so it's just kind of like Actually, people, people sit, drink nice. coffee, yeah, smoke. But, yeah. yeah, it is nice. But it's very hot right now. Look at that. Oh, it's peaceful as well. Yeah. In the sunset time, sunrise time, in the morning, ah, and that is super okay. hot in the. So the, yeah, they gave me a choice of room, the city view or the sea view. So this is the sea view. Yeah, ah, I wish I taken, I wish I took one of these then, because this is like a lot nicer and quieter. I like this. 
Okay, but next time, next time. See, your room can see Burj Khalifa. Yeah, I get the whole skyline. Yeah, there's, yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. So yeah. here you can see the marina, the sea and everything. And here you can see the city and you can see Burj Khalifa. Yeah, both are good. Both are good. I think they charge extra for these ones though. So these ones must, people must think these <laughs> ones are better. But I don't know. The extra 50 there. Yeah, extra 50. Yeah, you get the, you get to do this. You get to see this. To get, I need to get back inside, guys. I'm yeah. actually sweating. Yeah. How long was that? Less, less than a minute. Oh wow. Oh, even the door handle is like uh, hot. Yeah. Oh. oh, good. <laughs> Air conditioning, fantastic. Okay, gonna get stuck into these two wee scones to finish us off. Oh. Okay. Thank you so much, Ahmed. Oh, okay. It's gone time. Okay, clotted cream on jam. Don't make a mess, Dale, don't make a mess. On. Oh, 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 I did it. Look at that. Like a pro. Like a pro. Look at that. Oh wow. Oh my god guys, oh my god. It's delicious. It's absolutely delicious. I've did it again guys, I've did it again with the texture. They've done it right. They've got the outside is all crumbly, hard, crispy, crumbly. Inside is all soft and doughy and then the jam is ultra ultra sweet and then this fatty cream as well. Oh absolutely delicious. Mm. This right here is what heaven looks like. Oh. Last one. This one doesn't even need the knife. Look, it's all uh, kind of split in the middle. I can just go like this. Oh, got all the cloyed cream on there. The jam. Oh, come on, you wee beauty. That's it. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, that's my mask. Where was it? <laughs> Did this fit, fell on the floor or no? Uh, it's in the carpet there, yeah, on the floor. Ah, okay. I'll give you, uh, I'll give you fresh ones. Yeah, okay, okay, good, thank you. Thank you so much, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Ahmed is here or no? Ahmed, he... Yeah, he's here, so Okay. You want to speak to him? Uh, I want to give him a tip. It's okay, or... I can give to you, you can give to Ahmed. It's fine, it's fine. Ah, okay. It's... Oh, thank you. Okay, no problem. Thank okay, you. thank you so much. Okay, thank you. See bye you, bye. bye. See you again. Thank you. Oh, thank you, brother. It was fantastic. Thank, thank you so you. much, Ahmed. I wish you have a good holiday with us. I will see you, we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, I will see right? you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you, my friend. Enjoy. Cheers. Bye -bye. Oh, what is this up here? It says Theatre Balcony. Let's do a wee bit of exploring, if we can. I don't know if these doors are locked or what. Ah, they're locked. Okay. No worries. And here they've got all this art that's made from retro stuff. There's an Atari 2600 with loads of games. There is an old Polaroid camera there. A dollar bill, a joystick, Star Wars game box. There's all this stuff over here, dollars and art. Got Spider-Man with an old Batman comic. What else do we have? Oh, a Commodore 64. A Commodore 64 with a bunch of keys missing. There's the tape drive for it there. There's a tape. ZX Galaxians. Wow, cool. A Star Wars game for the ZX Spectrum that one's for. And we've got Thor comic. And a Thor figure. Clint Eastwood Space Cowboy. What else do we have? Space Raiders and all that. Oh my god, look at this. It's a casino. It's a... Uh, wow, it's loads of slot machines. This just must be here for decoration, I guess, because, uh, yeah, in Dubai, this is illegal. Like, you can't have slot machines and stuff. Uh, wow. 
Yeah, yeah, it must be just original because it's all denominated in US dollars, which they don't use in Dubai. And yeah, it doesn't look like there's a, they're not even switched on or anything. But uh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, they look ancient. They look from like the 1970s or something. So the QE2 that was started in 1969. So yeah, they're probably that old, probably the 70s. Incredible, they're everywhere. They're just dotted around the place, I guess, for people who are bored. On the QE2, traveling around for three months. They need a way to entertain themselves. Why not stick some slot machines? I think, I, I don't even think I'm supposed to be in here. I think this is like, block, I don't even know how I got here. How did I get here? Because that's blocked off down there as well. Ah, oh, your man's stuck. <laughs> okay, I think it was this way. Aye, that's where I came from. Here we go. Now, my room is on SI, which doesn't even exist here. It's 4321Q. Let's just choose one. Let's choose the highest one and see where it takes us. I don't know. Okay. Let's see where we are. Well, that's blocked off as well. Oh, this is where I started, the Queen's Grill. Oh, this is me trying to find my way back to my room, by the way. I'm, <laughs> I'm not really trying to explore the ship, but uh, I don't know where I came from, so I'm lost right now. Right, let's try another one. Was it on you before? I think I was on Q or U. Let's try Q. Well, this is just some kind of empty area again, but in here it looks like there's some kind of... Is it locked? Yeah, it's locked. It looks like there's some kind of like private boardroom, meeting room type thing. And here it's like a wee private lounge as well. Maybe that's for, I don't know, the people who pay for the most expensive rooms. And through here, is this going to find me my way back? No, it's just more kind of empty, emptiness area that they've just stuck some tables and stuff in. How do I get back to my room? Okay, so that's where I was, the Queen's Grill. And I'm on the signal deck. I need to be up. I'm going down. I need to be up here, the signal deck. In fact, let's try and get to the sun deck and see what that's like, the wee, the wee sun deck there. So I need to be up three. But that one only had two. Oh, that one only went to there, that lift. Maybe there's another elevator somewhere. I don't know. Oh, wow. This looks like it's for conferences and stuff. You could have a conference on the QE2 right there, couldn't you? Fantastic, really cool. And again, this is blocked off, but it looks like there's a pool table there. Or a couple of pool tables. It looks like there must be another way. It says this is the Queen's room. There must be another way to get into there. Can I actually go? Oh, I can. I'm not supposed to, but I can do it. Let's just have a wee look. Coin operated pool table. Sounds like there's people through here. Let's have a look. Ah, it looks like it's a wee buffet place. I'm gonna get in trouble here. I think this is the guy that works here. I don't think this is used. Nah, it's just ignoring me. Okay, I'm not supposed to be here. This looks like another restaurant. Maybe that's the restaurant the guy was telling me that they, they don't have open now because of uh, the corona and stuff. They're just keeping everything in that Queen's Grill because I guess they don't have so many guests or whatever. Right. Okay, barely squeezed through there after eating that English tea with the scones and everything. Oh, well, I think I'm going to have to do something like go down and along to get back up. I think that's how it's going to be. Oh, look, here, we've got the sign. That's where I want to be. That's where my room is, on the signal deck, right there. And that's what I want to take a wee look at, the sun deck. That's the sun deck there. And that's the signal deck where my captain's room is. Okay, so where do I go? Oh, in fact, this... Is it saying this elevator? These are the same elevators. These are the exact same elevators, aren't they? Let me see. It says SI, SU. No, there's no SU. There's no SU and there's no SI. Am I doing something crazy or what? There isn't, look, QUB. And what's this saying? Q, U, SU and SI. What the heck? What am I doing wrong here? To heck with it, I'll go all the way to the end here and see if there's another elevator.
Huh. I thought I saw somebody there who might have been able to help me, but then he disappeared like a ghost. Ghost on the QE2. Could be some kind of like a horror movie or something. Let's see. Is this an elevator? No, but there is a staircase. Could I just climb the stairs? Oh, there is an elevator here. Surely this is going to be the one. In fact, no, this is not going to be it. Look, they're kind of like greyed out. The signal deck and the sun deck. This isn't going to be it, is it? Ah, where's it saying? Is it saying I'm here? <sighs> Balls. Okay, I'll keep going down. I'll keep going down. Oh, it looks like they've got a spa as well. Can I have a wee look in here? Oh, no, it looks like that's locked. Yeah, but I can see through it. Mmm, maybe some wee massage rooms or something like that. I mean, get a wee massage on the QE2. Right, I'll go to the end. This looks like a dead end. Let me see, the pavilion. What is the pavilion? Oh, there's a wee outdoors bit here. I'm getting through, I am. Oh, look at this. Look at this. This is the thing the guy says was closed because, ah, oh, I can't get out. He said it's closed because it's summertime. Nobody wants to sit and eat out there, but that would be lovely, wouldn't it? Look at that. Right, I, th I think that's either the very front or the very back of the ship. I think it's the very back of the ship, actually. That's the very back of the ship. Aye, lovely. Got wee, uh, wee windows there, shielding you from a bit of the wind or whatever, if you want to sit there, if it was a windy day. Uh, aye, looks nice. Oh. Hi, uh, how do I get to the, uh, the the tallest deck, the sun deck, or the? Sun deck, you can go to the stair D. The stairs will take me. Yeah. Ah, okay. You can get to the straight stair D, stair E, and stair D. You can go. Ah, okay. Take sun a left deck. when I get up. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, brother. Sure. Thank you. Okay, that's how we do it. Up these stairs. Let's do it. The big strong legs. Wearing his trousers for the first time in, oh, God knows how long. All right. So this is more of the same. Uh, eating area just indoors but you know if you got the table right here if you got the table right here you'd be pretty happy wouldn't you especially if this boat was actually moving and stuff it'd be lovely wouldn't it okay let's get back to my room oh no actually you know what i've just done you know what i've just done this is the same place this is the same place that i came in before because look the bloody pool tables so now what did I do? He said you got two flights of stairs and then take a left. So there was only one flight of stairs there. <sighs> now what? I'm bloody lost. I'm the only person here. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. I don't know guys. I don't know. What am I doing? Help me out. Give me some directions. Is this more stairs? I think there's stairs here. It says this is the Lido. <sighs> okay. More stairs. I think he said take the stairs and take a left. See, this only goes to the boat deck. Look, the sun deck and the signal deck are greyed out. That's where I started, the Queen's Grill. Okay, I'll, I'll go back to the Queen's Grill and try and retrace my, retrace my footsteps. Guys, oh my God. Dubai duty free. <laughs> QE2 souvenirs, you probably can't see that because it's dark. Ah, okay, so here it's all shops and stuff, but they're all closed, I guess, because they don't have many guests, just like everything else that's closed here. And it looks like, oh, wow, so this theater area, look at this. You can actually uh, stand here and they might have like some kind of orchestra or something like that down there. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? Ah, uh, very nice. through here. Oh, I definitely shouldn't be here, should I? This is definitely not where I'm supposed to be. Oh, come on. I think this is for the crew. I think this is for the crew. Or the people who, the people who, hi brother. Hey. I'm trying to get to the sun deck. Sorry? The sun deck. I'm lost. I'm very lost. The other side. Oh, I can go this way or I have to go back? No, no, no this, this way. way. I don't know how I got there. I don't know how I got there. <laughs> there thank you, brother. Thank you. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. Right, this being left. Ah, okay, the Queen's Grill, that's where I started. 
That's where, that's where I've come from like 15 or 20 minutes ago. Okay, let's retrace our steps. Oh, wait a minute. Is this it? I remember this. Uh, no, still these things are greyed out. Still these things are greyed out. Right, okay. Further retrace our footsteps back to the Queen's Grill. Oh my God. Did you do that yeah, I'm swearing. I've got totally lost. I don't know where I am. I've been in the cruise section and everything. I've been in like a, an old casino with slot machines. That's, that's, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's so, yeah, I'm trying to get to the very top, the top layer. I, I don't know where it goes. Yeah, it's, it's like greyed out and all the, all the stair, all the, all the lifts and everything. There's another way or no? I don't know. I don't think we just. Well, we asked if we could have a tour, but you've got to go down and book it. No, the the man who does the tours is a. Uh, he had an accident and he's in hospital today. So there's only one man who does the tours. Right. It's a man who used to work in the QE2 when it was a cruise liner. Really? Yeah, so he knows everything. He has all the old stories and everything. Oh, but uh, yeah, he, he had an accident and he's in the hospital. So they, oh. they don't know if maybe tomorrow he'll be able to come and do it or not. They don't, they don't know. Oh. Yeah, because oh. I wanted to do that as well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You're staying a while, yeah? You're, you're staying in the, the, the ship or you just no, came for lunch? No, my daughter lives here. Ah, okay, you, so you, you'll, you'll get another chance then to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My mum and dad used to come on here all the time. Oh, did they? Yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, okay. Loads of cruises on here. Oh, they must have had plenty of money because it, <laughs> <laughs> it, it was an expensive... Uh, yeah. I was watching, you know, Wicker, Wicker's World. Yeah, the, yeah. Yeah, he was saying that uh, at that time in the 1980s, there was like between 200 to 800 pounds a night. And yeah, back then, so you take inflation into account and then you think that, uh, you know, people, they're not staying one or two nights, right? They're going for like a month or something. Yeah, so yeah, yeah you, you had to be, you know, pretty wealthy to, yeah. to go on this. Yeah. And now, <laughs> now any old people can come. Me. I'm like, <laughs> I turned up in my shorts and t-shirt and checked in. So it's all good. <laughs> okay. Have a nice, have a nice day. Okay. Okay, let's see if I can find my room. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. There's a staircase right here. Uh, oh, that's it. My cabin is 8011. That's it. I found it. This is where, no wonder I didn't see it. It's this tiny little staircase. So I walked right past here and explored the whole ship when I should have just went up these stairs. Ah. In fact, before I go to my room, I'll check this one out, the sun deck. I think this must be, no, it says you are here. So this is all rooms. So the sun deck, oh, that must be huge, that one there. The sun deck must be here somewhere, through here, an actual deck. Maybe it's just called the sun deck, or it used to be the sun deck and now it's rooms. I don't know. Saw that, guys. I'm going back to my room. I need another shower already. <laughs> Second shower in two hours. <sighs> Oh, just what I need. The AC is blasting. For some reason, it just switched itself on about five seconds after I entered the room. I uh, don't know if it has some kind of like motion sensor or something like that, but it's very much appreciated. Oh, and what will be more appreciated will be another shower and another change of clothes. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Oh. Cheers, guys. Mm. Just like I said, the first man ever to consume a pot noodle aboard the QE2. And no, I'm not having a poor man's dinner. This is just a snack. I'm gonna, I'm gonna order some food. Not from the in-room dining, because there doesn't seem to be any. I'm gonna order from Uber Eats or Taliban or something. Man, I'm dripping with sweat. I've been out here for like three minutes. Uh, yeah. Uh, I regret paying extra for the balcony now. Actually, there's rooms without balconies that, you know, I'll show you. In fact, maybe I won't show you because it's really dark, but uh, there's like four rooms with balconies on each side. And I chose the wrong side because down there, it's all very noisy. This seems to be some kind of like generator plant or something like that. But uh, I, you do have the skyline of Dubai, which actually looks better in the daytime. I don't think it looks that great when it's lit up. It's not Tokyo or Hong Kong or anything, is it? Um, anyway, I wanted to use the gym and the pool, but when I had a look for what's available for leisure, it only says this QE2 spa, which was actually closed 
when I went down this afternoon and had a look around, well, when I was lost and I was looking around while I was lost, uh, I spoke to the staff, like in-room dining, nothing on there either. This hotel seems to be running at a very minimal capacity. You know, I'm the only guest I've seen aboard. I mean, I've seen two ladies at lunchtime, but they weren't even staying on the ship. And that's the only people I've seen. Uh, yeah, I uh, phone reception, they said uh, the outdoor pool, there used to be some kind of like outdoor pool here when the ship was actually running. They got rid of that and then the indoor pool was closed because of COVID-19 and the actual gym is still open but they close it at 7pm for some reason which is crazy early. It's now 9 o'clock. Okay, I've seen this, there's some historical facts about the ship which is quite interesting. So, uh, first maiden voyage was in 69. Your favourite number, um, top speed was 63 kilometres an hour, which was one of the fastest passenger ships of that type, uh, you know, like cruise ship. Uh, carried all the troops to the Falkland Islands in the 1982. Um, rescued 500 passengers from the Antilles in 1971, that's a French cruise ship. And it was the first Westerner passenger ship to dock in China in recent times. Operated for four decades and ended up carrying 2.5 million passengers. That's a lot of passengers. That's a lot of nostalgic people who might end up coming and staying in this hotel just for the nostalgia factor. And Final Voyage was the one to Dubai. And it's been there ever since 2008. But it was only open as a hotel in 2018. So originally they planned to stick it in the palm and then there was like the financial crisis in 2008 and then uh, things got changed. So anyway, I had a look on their website to see what the gym and pool looks like and it looks like that, which looks quite nice. But apparently this wee pool is closed. I'm not going to be able to have a wee swim in it. But uh, anyway, yeah, I had a look around the internet to see how the ship used to look like. So this is the old tennis court. They used to have like this shuffleboard thing. And this was the outdoor pool that they got rid of. It looks quite nice, doesn't it? It's a, it's a tiny wee pool. But, uh, aye, that's where people used to sunbathe and all that. Uh, all the guests. And you see there, that's it when it's busy. There's a, a guy in the pool there. And everybody getting their tan on. That was a big thing back in then, in like 1970s, 1980s and stuff. If you had a tan and then you went back to the UK, everybody thought you were mega rich because you could afford to travel to places where they actually have sun. And uh, this is the indoor pool, how it used to look like back in the day. You can see like all the old gym equipment there. This is the old gym, like the first generation Cybex machines and stuff like that, which would have been the latest generation back then. Absolutely fantastic. So yeah, um, don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. This is day one of two day trip that I'm, two day stay that I'm staying here. Uh, I think actually, on retrospect, one day would have been enough to do everything I wanted to do and experience everything I wanted to experience. Obviously, I didn't get the, the tour off the ship by... There's this guy who used to work on the ship back in the day and he knows everything about it. But uh, like I was explaining to that lady earlier on, he had an accident and was in the hospital today. So who knows if tomorrow he's going to be able to do that. If so, I will continue the vlog with him. And uh, yeah, for today, I'm just going to order some, probably order some fish and chips and go to sleep. Yeah. Good morning, good morning, good morning from the QE2. Good morning, good morning to you. Good morning to you. Guys, I think today I'm going to ask them to change me to the other side of the ship. The one that costs 50 dirhams extra because... Yeah, I'm just kind of annoyed by this thing here, this droning noise that you can hear uh, all night long. It's 24-7. You can hear it inside the room. It's just it's just irritating for me. So yeah, I'm going to ask to get moved. It looks like this whole area is under construction. You see all that's construction. Brand new apartments there. They look like they haven't been moved into yet. Hopefully this thing's just temporary and they're going to get rid of that. Maybe it's just providing temporary power. I think it's a generator anyway. I think that's what it is but it looks like this is all barren land here that's probably going to get developed so this is going to be a whole probably entertainment area but just now it is really just this ship it's just the QE2 if you wanted to walk somewhere just say you wanted to go out for a wee bite to eat or something like that there's nowhere really you can walk to I mean you can't even walk across that road look it's completely blocked off you would have to get in a car my car's down there some of the black one there you'd have to get in your car and then drive all the way around to somewhere 
there's a supermarket there, car four. That's probably a mall inside there. Uh, you could probably go there, but it's like you can't walk to it. That's the thing. So, yeah, yeah, it's what it is though. I'm sure in the future this whole area will be amazing. Uh, anyway, while I'm moaning about things, I want to talk about the air conditioning, which it rattles. Hang on, I'll turn it on. It seems to automatically turn itself off when the balcony door is open. So anyway. It kind of rattles a bit, you know? It's kind of this rattling noise, so obviously I had to sleep with the AC on because it's too hot, so that was kind of annoying as well. Uh, yeah, but maybe that's the original AC from the ship. I know that the ship, in the olden days, even back then, it had AC, so maybe this is the original AC. And in that case, you can't complain, can you? Because that's just part of the experience of staying in the old ship, isn't it? So, yeah, it'll be interesting. If I do get moved to the other room, we'll see if it's just a problem with this room or if... Uh, all the AC in all the rooms sound like that. Uh, not hugely annoying, just a little bit annoying. But the major annoyance is that thing outside that really when I'm sitting there at the laptop, I can hear it. But I pulled out the noise cancelling headphones, my trusty noise cancelling Bose Quiet Comfort 2 that I bought in Las Vegas in 2006. 15 years I've had them. Everybody nowadays, they're using the ear pods and stuff, these wee wireless things that stick in your ear and stick out. They've got these two white things sticking out of their ears and they think they're cool and stuff. No, this is what's cool. The Bose Quiet Comfort 2s, mate. Oh, gee. Uh, I bought them when the dollar, you were getting two dollars to the British pound back then. I think that's the, the best rate you've ever had for your British pound, the strongest it's ever been since successive governments wrecked the economy in the last decade and a half. Um, yeah, the, the, those those uh, used to cost two nine nine dollars in the states and two nine nine pounds in the UK. So obviously, when I, I took a trip to Vegas, I bought them there and got them half price, which was nice. Anyway, I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna go down here to get a thumbnail while the lights coming in this direction. I'll try and get a good thumbnail. And when I'm down there, I might show you this or whatever else I can find around this complex. There you go, absolutely massive. Just like the ship herself, which is also absolutely massive. Look at the size of it. Ooh, and there is my room about there. Now I thought there was only like four balcony rooms. That's because I could only see those four from my balcony, but there are much more. There's one with an even bigger balcony there, which is probably, you know, I think there's, they have a duplex room or something. It's probably that one, super expensive though. Maybe like a one and a half thousand dollars a night. Uh, anyway. I'm gonna try and get a thumbnail, maybe from over here at the basketball court. I think this belongs to, I don't know if this is just an area for the construction workers to play or whatever. I think this is actually for the ship. This looks like it's for people, the guests. So I'll try and, uh, yeah, try and grab my thumbnail for this video. How about this? Should this do the trick? Say cheese, Dale. Cheese! Okay, job's a good one. <laughs> okay. Mission complete, two missions complete. Got the thumbnail and the receptionist said he's gonna move me to the other side of the ship in 10 minutes with no extra charge as well, which is nice. Welcome to your man's new room. And your man is happy because look, I got my room cleaned. I got an instantly clean room, the bed made and everything without having to vacate the room for half an hour while housekeeping does it up. So that worked out very well indeed. And also the AC is a lot quieter. It doesn't have that sort of rattly noise. You know, it's a bit more of a, a smoother, a smoother noise. Less irritations. Let's see if there's less irritations out there on the balcony. Let's have a look. Oh. A lot quieter, isn't it? You can hear some of the boat's engines as they as they go past and stuff, but yeah, this is much more peaceful and I can't hear anything at all inside the room. So 
yeah, I'm pretty pleased about that. The only bad thing is the sun will come here in the afternoon. I think it's like 11 a.m. or something just now. So uh, I think after midday, the sun will hit this and it'll be unbearable. But yeah, I'll, I'll get to see the sunset. So I don't know, pros and cons, pros and cons, isn't it? Uh, I might actually check out the gym downstairs, see if they've updated those old Cybex equipment. And I was checking this, it looks like, you remember I was saying there's no in-room dining and I said that because I did that on the TV and it said no items available. But in this room, there's a wee pamphlet that wasn't there in the last room and it says for in-room dining, scan the QR code. So that's it. I'm going to I'm gonna try that later after I uh, work up an appetite in the gym. Well, once again, I'm lost. The signs towards the gym just seem to end. And I'm just wandering around aimlessly, but we do find things when we're lost, don't we? And I found this. It looks like they've set it up as an example of how the cabins used to be. So you've got two single beds there, an old CRT TV right there. Tiny. Looks like it's like 10 inch or something. Maybe just like a little bit bigger than... Uh, I don't know, like a, a tablet, a tablet computer these days. And uh, yeah, I guess that's what it used to look like. I guess that's the bathroom in there. I guess they probably all had private bathrooms. It was a, a luxury liner. Right, let's wander around until we find signs for the gym again. Don't see any. Oh, hello. I'm trying to find a gym. Fitness. Pool. I'm trying to find a gym. I'm lost. Can you find Yeah, the gym. Uh, you came the wrong side. Yeah. The signs just seem to stop. <laughs> I was following some signs and then they stopped. This area for crew, is it? No, it's the uh, guest only. The ah, okay. is right now. Ah, okay. This floor is vacant. Oh, so it means that way. I thought this all went in the same direction. Just the other side. Yeah. Oh, here it goes down here. Oh, thank you, brother. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, seven. Ah, uh, okay. Pool and gym access. Okay, there's a lift here. Ah, so every single person I've seen on a ship is like working here. I haven't seen a single other guest the whole time I've been here since yesterday. Seven, he said. Okay, so I think this is the only the only elevator that goes down to it in the whole ship. Um, yeah, follow the signs, but follow them properly. I didn't follow them properly. Okay, seventh floor, which is the bottom. It goes from top to bottom. It goes like signal deck, sun deck, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this should be the gym. Oh, here it is. Ah, so this is the pool. Look, it's empty right now. Should I be the only person here in the gym? I would think so. Look at this. Oh, wow. It is all the latest equipment and everything. Isn't it? They've got the, the cable machine and all that. Oh, wow. Probably they usually have more equipment. It's just everything's all spaced out, isn't it? Probably due to the Rona. But that pool's nice. Oh, that would be lovely if that was filled up. The receptionist, I asked him about it and he said they just didn't get approval from the local authorities because uh, the space around here, they couldn't do proper social distancing or something, so they didn't get the approval to open it during this period. They just got approval for this after they separated the machines and stuff. But look at this. All these latest techno gym equipment. Aye, I think I'll be quite happy here. And there's more on the other side as well. Let's go and check that side out. Uh, so on this side it's all a cardio area, all treadmills with these touch screens. Looks like quite latest equipment as well. Uh, seems like they've got YouTube and Facebook and all that that you can use on these screens. It's all connected to the internet. Fantastic. I like this. Okay, I'm going to spend an hour or so here.
the legs strong. Well guys, 35 sets in the bag, feeling good. You know, one of the finer things in life is having a whole gym to yourself, especially one with really good equipment like this. Kinesis machine that I've never used before, but I like it. Kinesis by Techno Gym. So I've used Techno Gym equipment before, but never like this. This is kind of different to a standard cable machine because it gives a completely free range of movement similar to lifting weights and there are weights there some light weights but yeah all the machines are like this this kind of free range of motion kind of thing and uh yeah some pretty decent machines some of them say please do not use but they're not broken so i'm using them anyway i think they're just there for social distancing you know so in case the authorities come and say well, well that machine's too close to that one uh, we're shutting you down or something they can say no 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 Nobody's allowed to use that, but I did use it because, yeah, I'm the only person here the whole time. I've been here for more than an hour, so nobody else has come by. And, uh, yeah, I like it. You can do all sorts with this thing here. I mean, uh, you can do uh, chest press and you can do squats and you can do uh, bent over rows and you can do pull downs from this bit at the top as well. Uh, hi, I like it. I like it. I'll be using this gym again. Right. Let's finish off with some cardio. Oh guys, this is awesome. This equipment is awesome. It's in perfect condition. And your man trying to get his body in perfect condition, isn't he? Ah, no, he's not. He's just trying to build up an appetite, build up a big appetite, so he can hammer that in-room dining. So guys, I'll continue doing that and I'll see you back in the room for some munching. Yeah. The original binnacle, basically the compass for the ship, which is all protected and stuff, right there, made by John Lilly and Gilly. Hi, can you send me fish and chips, please? Also, can I have a superfood salad with grilled halloumi? We are fast approaching sunset here in Dubai. The fish and chips have been ordered. Now, I know I said yesterday I was going to order fish and chips delivery to the hotel. It didn't happen. The KFC delivery, that did happen. Actually, my plan was to go through this whole hotel stay, only eating British food. That was the plan, but... Craven's got the best of me, didn't he? Uh, anyway, the fish and chips have been ordered now. We will do it. And it's actually coming from down there. That is uh, the Queen's Grill right there. That's a little smoker's patio for it. But uh, I, I spoke to the waiter from yesterday, Mr. Ahmed, and he said that the room service menu, the in-room dining, it's exactly the same menu as the Queen's Grill. That's where the food's coming from. So yeah, I might as well eat it in my room and have all the privacy and all the comfort and stuff instead of just like, sitting in a restaurant on my own uh yeah let's uh go back in i will enjoy my fish and chips right there on my own wee sofa and if the weather was better and by better i mean colder <laughs> if the weather was colder i'd enjoy it out on the balcony I'd, I'd probably drag that wee table out and sit there that would be lovely wouldn't it if it was like, I don't know, October, November, December, anything apart from summertime in Dubai, you've got three months where, yeah, the weather is just, it's difficult for a Scotsman like me. It's difficult, guys, it's difficult. But, you know, most of the world's shut down right now. What can you do? Oh, hi, brother. How are you doing? Ah, uh, good. Are you handing it to me or? Yeah, I'm coming. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have it on this uh, table here. Okay, I've got the door. How is that room? Yeah, it's better. Good. This, this one's way oh, better. Now we have the sea view here. Yeah, yeah. I can watch the bombs go past and stuff. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'll bring you change. Oh, no, no, you can keep the change. Okay. Yeah, okay, bro. Thank okay. you so much. Thank no worries, so much. brother. No worries.
Well, now nobody can say that your man doesn't eat healthy, can they? Because look at this green goodness right here. We've got the kale leaves. We've got the green peas. We've got the broccoli. We've got the chunks of avocado. We've got chickpeas there sprinkled on top as pistachios. And all this round the side is grilled halloumi cheese. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely healthy. And an absolutely healthy portion of fish and chips to go with it. Fantastic. Time to get healthy, guys! Yeah! Hmm. Ah, that's it. That's what you need. Right, let's get stuck into this green goodness right here. Make your man strong. Make your man healthy. All the vitamins and stuff. All the grilled halloumi. Check this out. So halloumi, if you grill it, it doesn't melt. So uh, normally it's used as like a substitute for meat. So, in a salad instead of chicken, you might have some halloumi. And let's give it a taste. Mmm. Very rubbery, very rubbery. Tastes just like mozzarella, but with a rubbery texture. It's alright, it's alright. Now, the green stuff, I'll try and get it all on one forkful to get a true appreciation of how this combination tastes. There doesn't seem to be any dressing on it. I don't see any kind of dressing at all, so I'll, I'll see what it tastes like. Maybe they've sprinkled it with some kind of oil or, or whatever. Let's give it a go. There we go. A bit of everything carefully balanced on this fork. The broccoli, the avocados, the chickpeas, the kale leaves, the peas, all of it. The pistachios sprinkled on top. Let's stick it in the gob. Aye, there is a wee bit of dressing on this. I think the salad's been tossed in some kind of light vinaigrette or something like that. It's uh, it's quite subtle. It's not it's not drowned in any kind of dressing or anything like that. You know, sometimes you get a salad, and the dressing has like four times as many calories as the entire vegetable meal that you're eating. Uh, this, I think, they've deliberately kept it healthy. They called it the superfood salad on the menu. Your man being as healthy as you've ever seen him be. He's going to demolish this salad right in front of you guys. You won't believe your eyes. A Scotsman demolishing a super food salad. Let's do it. Mm. Benito! Thumbs up for Dale demolishing a salad. Absolutely fantastic. Feeling strong now. Feeling that I've made up for last night's KFC. I think that's uh, I think that's balanced things out. And now this. There you are. Big and battered. Just how a piece of cod should be. And just how fish and chips should be. With cod, not haddock. Now a lot of fish and chip shops back in the UK are starting to use haddock because it's cheaper. No, this is the original. This is the OG. This is the original. Fish and chips with cod, it tastes a lot better than haddock. And they've given me some mushy peas. So it's English. In Scotland, we never have mushy peas with our fish and chips. They've also given me a tartar sauce. In Scotland, it would be brune sauce. Brune sauce. You would have that all over your fish and chips. Okay, we're doing it the English way, I guess. Let's dip it in the tartar sauce like that. Oh, it's looking good, isn't it? Well, oh, guys, it's too good. It's too good. It is, uh, the cod is delicious. Flavorful. Soft, soft, soft. Absolutely soft. The batter, it's got that soft layer on the inside and it's all crispy on the outside. And the tartar sauce is delicious as well. Not as delicious as brown sauce, Scottish brown sauce, but oh, let's just dip it right in there. I'm going to demolish this in like less than one minute, I think. Mmm. Mmm, good! Mmm! Mmm! Oh, you sexy wee beauty! You sexy wee beauty! What is this? Or something orange? Or something red in my tartar sauce? I think it might be a wee cherry tomato or something. Mmm! 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 
No, it's a carrot. It's a carrot. What's a carrot doing in tartar sauce? There's all sorts there. I think there's a lot of chopped carrots and there's something else in there. I don't know. I'm just tasting a lot of the tartar sauce. It's a delicious one. Oh, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna absolutely demolish it. Absolutely demolish it. It's too good, guys. It's too good. Mmm. Mmm. Uh, I've got some other stuff here that I haven't even been paying attention to. Oh, <laughs> the mushy peas almost went flying. Uh, I've got a, a wee lemon. I should sprinkle some of that on it. The mushy peas and the chips. But, you know, all my attention is on the cod. You know what it's like? Sometimes you meet a group of girls, don't you? And one of them is just way sexier than others. And all your attention is on her. Well, all my attention is on this sexy, beautiful cod right here. But, time to introduce a wee bit of lemon, I guess. You would definitely never have that with your fish and chips in Scotland. Imagine going in a chippy and saying, can I, have a, can I have a slice of lemon? Can I have a slice of lemon and tartar sauce and mushy peas that kick you out of the place? Right, okay, we'll dip it in the mushy peas. Do it the bloody English way. There we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> Some peas did end up on the carpet. Okay. Mmm. It's nice. I prefer it with the tartar sauce though, so I'm going to demolish it with the tartar sauce and I'll eat the mushy peas separately. Just dip it right in there. There's a big portion of tartar sauce as well, so you eat with each dip, with each dip of the cod, you can get a big slathering, a big slathering of tartar sauce all over it. There we go. Oh. Mm. Okay, last bite. This may be two last bites for somebody. No, for your man and his big Scottish mouth, it's one last bite. One last dip in the tartar sauce. Mm. Magnifique. Absolutely man -e feek Now all I've got left is some chips. Oh, they're nice. Mm. Nice and thick, nice and thick ones. They're already solid. Don't need any of this. What did they give me actually? Some mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard. Who would eat fish and chips with mustard? Does anybody do that? Anyway, guys, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish off all this, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Maybe for the full English breakfast that they do. They do a full English breakfast, but it's not going to be fully authentic, is it? Because it's Dubai, they got to keep it halal, don't they? So, instead of bacon, you've got turkey bacon. Instead of pork sausages, you've got veal sausages. So, I'm half and half whether I should go for it or not, just because it's not going to be fully authentic. Uh, but if I don't see you guys for that, I will see you for the tour. The tour of the ship that I'm probably going to do tomorrow. The guy is probably coming back tomorrow, the tour guide. The tour guide who works on the ship. He worked on the ship back in the day. He's the only guy, the only member of staff who worked on the ship back when it was a cruise ship and now he's the, the number one tour guide for the ship. He's been injured, he had a wee injury the last couple of days but he's probably coming back tomorrow and there's a tour scheduled for 1pm which is when I'm checking out so yeah, I'll check out and then check out this guy's tour and bring you guys along for some of it. Anyway, I'm going to finish this off and see you tomorrow. Mmm. Good morning, good morning, good morning from the QE2. Good morning, good morning. It's afternoon actually, it's afternoon and I'm about to check out of this beautiful ship. This will be the last time I see this beautiful view. Aye, before I leave though, the tour manager is going to give me a tour of the ship, so let's check out and do that now. Okay, so I've just checked out. I'm gonna sit in the library. This is Mr. Peter over here, the man who used to work on the ship, who's gonna give me a tour. They said, I can't film all the tour because there's gonna be other guests, but I'll try and film as much as I can. The interesting things, check this out. These are all the old books that used to be on the ship back in the day. You can sit here and read them all. Very nice. 
So three years ago, today, this yes, is the, yes, oh, this is when the, the ship was open to guests. When I started. Oh, when you started. Ah, okay. So it's my third year anniversary today. Ah, so they actively recruited somebody who, who worked on the ship well, before. They, yes, I mean, I had a friend here who actually worked with me in service. Ah. And he messaged me on Facebook, whatever they call it. And they said, um, we're looking for possibly looking for an ex-crew to be a tour guide would you be interested but well, I didn't believe it to be honest yeah. I can't catch a cold I'm so unlucky well I shouldn't say that now but you know what I mean <laughs> I didn't believe as it as long as it's a cold not well, another thing I didn't thing. believe it I mean yeah, I yeah. am not that lucky you know so I said well you know frankly speaking because he was my mate I said if you're yeah. true put your money where your mouth is and get me the interview but don't mess with my feelings because I love this ship and that's not ah. fair so I said no absolutely true I said well get me the interview well he did and uh, had the interview and literally within 10 minutes I had the phone call saying you got the job you know and uh, but then of course it was a time with the visas and all this other oh, yeah. stuff that happened yeah, yeah. You know. but no so three years ago today I signed the contract oh, and well. I started officially I mean I, I arrived yesterday if you know what I mean three years ago but yeah, know, yeah yeah signing the contract ah, was today. Okay. so my third happy anniversary thank you very much <laughs> three years ago happy but I mean I'm active actively with her for 14 years as a passenger and crew one of the other oh so you started as a passenger before you were crew yeah. ah so I, you... i'll say that on the tour but yes ah, I, did. Okay. And then I morphed into crew which i think was a good way of doing it ah it yeah yeah, yeah. being you know crew pads wow. maybe it's a, you went you know, through... so i went through the whole three different roles passenger crew and well that's it so i mean if, if we're counting the the service now yeah. it's actually 17 years because three years here yeah 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 so um, it, it's it's like a home you know oh well and uh, but we'll go on to that on the tour yeah, but uh, you. yeah by all means you can ask any questions that you have and i'll mm -hmm. try and answer them are there any changes they've made to making a hotel that you don't like no no? no. What about the outdoor pool? You have they, to. They, they I, got... I can't. I don't, honestly don't know about that. I don't know about that at all. Ah. But um, no, I mean everything they've done, I like, and it, I think you know, in, in Dubai, as we say, you know, equally in Dubai, you have to modernize. Well, in hospitality, not just Dubai, you yeah. have to modernize, don't you? But with something like QE2, you must keep some of the history. Oh yeah, you must. So of course, of course. If you morph it into something completely different, well, then I, I, it, I it's no point, this, right? I'll probably say this again on the tour, but. I had made my mind up flying over here from London if this had been turned into, not that there's anything wrong with this, but mm -hmm. in this case, no. If this had been turned into a sort of a, you know, floating Disney or neon hotel, oh, I would like have flown straight home. Yeah, I yeah. Mean, I, I like them, but not in this context. Yeah, yeah. This is history. Yeah, this is still classic. And you right? have to retain yeah. that history. So, you know, it's something I feel very passionate about. And, um, well, I mean, let's be honest with you. You know, if you've been associated with something for 14 years, it's your life, isn't it? A large yeah. part of it, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, absolutely, it, it formed very much part of mine. And still to this day does, you know. Mm. So, uh, I'm going to check to see if the other guests are here. Okay. We will start at one. The other guest has, I think, paid, so we can start, uh, you know, okay. that we're all here. Okay, good. As we were just discussing, um, I have a bit of history with the ship because I celebrated my 21st birthday on QE2. That was the wow. first ever time mm. I came on board. When my mum and dad were living, we celebrated 24 cruises as guests. About three times a year, we'd go on QE2 to New York or Europe or somewhere. And I said to my mother, I can remember it, Mum, I'll work on this ship one day. And she said, don't be stupid, of course you won't. You know? Well, you prove your mother wrong when you can, don't you? Because I did actually work on here for six years of active service. And it was frankly remarkable. Um, and I think I'll go further. It was actually, I think, the best six years of my working life. It, it really was. I mean, you can't compare it now. It's, it's a different set of altogether. You know, a seagoing ship and a, a, um, a static hotel are two totally different concepts. But yeah. it's lovely to be back. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get some of that emotion, I hope, through on the tour as we go through today. You're more than welcome, as I say, to take photographs or videos or whatever you call it. You can do that. But please do not video the whole thing because people won't come to see me if you do that. So oh. we can video bits and bobs. That's absolutely Absolutely fine, but okay. not the whole thing. I would please ask you to respect. Now, I'm glad we're all sitting on these chairs because we are all sitting in history. These chairs were on the QE2 when we were sailing. Oh, all well, these very ago. chairs. The same chairs. Now, I don't know with respect whether you know the Queen sat there or Beckham sat there. I mean, I don't know. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I do know for a fact. Can that, I take it home? Uh, well, <laughs> we'll come on to that in a moment. But, you know, I mean, the fact is that, you know, this is a history and uh, uh, it really is remarkable. These tables were in the Queen's room when we were sailing. I had afternoon tea off these on more than one occasion. And this is my point. When the QE2 was sold for $100 million back in 2008, Dubai only bought it if every teaspoon, sugar bowl, carpet, chair, exhibit came with her. This is significant. You know, the sellers apparently said, we will sell, but we want to keep X, Y, and Z. The buyer said, no, no, no. 
all or nothing. That is history. And, you know, we, we are not the Burj Khalifa, that is true, but we are a floating museum. And I would ask each of you, when you leave, to take some history with you. Please don't take the chairs. But, yeah, but, you know, <laughs> Pete said that's fine. Funny way of resigning. But, you know, but take some history, because you're part of it. You've all stayed with us overnight. You, were, you have been walking where celebrities walked, where passengers walked, you know. And I find it amazing that many hotels closed last year for good. We yeah. did not. OK, we did close for a period of time. We reopened again. The QE2 is not, metaphorically, for sinking. She's a survivor. And I think it's amazing. I've had people on my tours here from the age of five to the age of 90. And, you know, they're all part of that history, and I think that's amazing. Twenty years ago, I was standing here in this spot, welcoming passengers on board prior to sailing around the world. My colleague's standing exactly where you are there, so you've got the job, you can start tomorrow. Oh. And, and, we, and we would say, welcome on board, ladies and gentlemen. They would say, she smells the same. They recognised the smell, instantly they came on. I came here, as I say, three years ago today, and the first thing I said, in truth, she smelt the same. Very evocative. Very, very emotional indeed. Now, this you can see never changed in the 39 years of service. This fiberglass spaceship design that was iconic really to the midships lobby, which is our modern day atrium, um, and say that remained constant for the years of service. This did change quite a few times. It was a green and cream affair, then it went to a psychedelic era, and then you see toned down beautifully to this wood, the blue seating and the murals that you see around the wall. Now, Cunard commissioned Peter Sutton to paint those. Uh, depicting different significant chunks of history. We see the Britannia and Samuel Cunard. We won't discuss that again, but I will mention the Penny Black reference. Now, the Penny Black was commissioned in 1840, and there are suggestions that some of those stamps were on some of the mail that went across on the Britannia all those years ago. I don't know if it's true, but it's a suggestion, and that's why that is there. So three, two, one. You're now in history, because I know for a fact Her Majesty walked along here, I know Nelson Mandela has, and I know Elton John did. How do I know that? I walked with all three of those people along this very path. So you're walking on the history. Mm -hmm. The pictures, the uh, wood, green, rails, all the same as they were. Imagine in your mind, you know, 6.30 p.m. every evening, you dress for dinner. Gents in the tuxes, ladies in the dresses. It really did look stunning. Jack and Rose moments on the stairs, hello darling, all this going on. It really was like that. This is where the ship was driven, I guess. So here we are in the wheelhouse. The wheelhouse, he's calling now, it. Now, the first thing to notice is that in here, is the age of where we're in. And in fact, all this equipment was used until 2008, when the ship came here for the last time. Now, I'd like to discuss how the ship arrived in, God, those stairs are really exhausting. Um, how the ship arrived here, because there's a question we're often asked. It was actually a passenger voyage from Southampton uh, to Dubai, leaving on the 11th of November 2008, and arriving here on the 26th of November. And a very emotional cruise, as you can imagine, the last leaving in Southampton, the last call in Spain, for, I mean, the last. 952 cabins sold out in 35 minutes. Pretty good record. You know, you're seeing history. I mean, the whiteboard here, that's the last calendar year of QE2. You can see Dubai on the bottom right there. And, I mean, very historic. OK, it's not written very well, but <laughs> I will not erase it and rewrite it, because that's tampering with history. I won't do yeah. that. Yeah. Up here. But now we will go and uh, the captain's day room, which is where he would sleep in rough weather or difficult pilotages, but it's very small. But that's how it used to be. And this was uh, air conditioned back in the day, fully air conditioned. It was, it was, yeah. yeah. Okay, good. So we're now going. Um, I, whether our views are on the casino that we like or not, I thought you might like to go in it and just have a look. Now, this was built in 1972, as I said, and uh, it doesn't work. So keep your change, please. But uh, well, well, couldn't you just turn one machine on? I wish we could. And have like a handful of quarters so that you we know, could just for authenticity. Yeah, yeah. But uh, let's have a look here. Now, uh, by the oh, windows wow. would have been your gaming tables, and that would have been the same in this uh, area through here. But these are the windows that broke in the middle when we hit that wave I spoke about. So you can tell how, in context how frightening that was. But these are the original machines. Um, they don't work at the moment because, you know, at the moment gambling is still illegal in the UAE. Yeah. I have heard it may be coming back. I don't know if that's true. Right. If that's the case, you know, maybe we open again. I don't know. But uh, in 1978, I know for a fact that one lady, for two hours work, if you can call it work, uh, won $12,500. So it's not too bad for two hours. Uh, the highest tip I ever saw given, and I saw this so I wouldn't have believed it, um, 
we were coming back on a transatlantic, and this waiter received a tip of a Rolls Royce, which isn't that bad going. Wow. <laughs> tip. Wow. Um, I think I got a box of Maltesers, which wasn't quite the same. <laughs> but, uh, you know, we, this waiter, we all saw him drive off in the Rolls, and we never saw him again. I mean, done. Halas, as they say. <laughs> Now, this is a lovely painting, portrait, of the Queen and Prince Philip, and I thought in the light of recent events you'd like to see this. Ah, yeah, um, beautiful. Painted by Edward Halliday in the 40s. Um, it's in short roughly £1.8 million. Pounds. I mean, it's a vast, you know, vast portrait. Uh, I think it's absolutely ideal. I mean, I think it's painted to replicate some grounds in Windsor Castle. Um, I believe that to be the fact, but it's a lovely, lovely portrait. It shows Princess Elizabeth and her future husband. Now, people often say to me, Pete, where's your one favourite place you ever visited on the QE2? And I cannot give you an honest answer. How can I possibly compare the island of Fiji with Hong Kong? I mean, you can't, it's not comparable. Each has individuality. So I would suggest, personally, Los Angeles to India was my favourite uh, world cruise sector. The culture, the food, the, it was wonderful. If we're talking Europe, without a shadow of a doubt, Norway would be my number one. I mean, the Norwegian fjords are spectacular to sail in on, on this ship, or any ship, frankly, but beautiful. But I think to sum things up, in my opinion, and probably ours, I hope, the QE2 was, and still is, a maritime engineering marvel of the 20th century. I mean, how she was built. She was built to fit through the Panama Canal with only two feet of clearance each side. I mean, that's genius. And that's actually business foresight. They hadn't even thought of a world cruise then. Uh, you know, the, the built with the mortuary, the hospital. Some of the equipment we're using now in the kitchens were used in the 60s. They're still working today. I mean, you know, respect and really respect and props to the John Brown shipyard in Scotland. They knew what they were doing. They built a ship that would last for 39 years of service. Thank you very much Good. indeed. Uh, thank you, Peter. If thank you, you have so enjoyed much. it, my name is Peter. If you've hated it, my name is Timothy. Uh, thank you very <laughs> much indeed. And hopefully we'll see you again, as we said in service, in the not too distant future. Thank you very much. Thank indeed. you, sir. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? A wee adventure on the QE2. And I will see you guys next time for the next adventure.